girl, is that bundles? Nah, girl, these ain't bundles. Girl, so you cut your hair, girl, because that's looking good. I like the new cut. Nah, girl, I ain't cut my hair. Then what is it then? It's a wig. <laughs> stop. That ain't no wig. Yes, it is, honey. This all synthetic right here. This ain't nothing but body. Stop. Let me stop. Let me be serious. I can't be serious. <laughs> I am so happy, you guys. Like I said, this is a synthetic wig. This is a synthetic wig. This is a synthetic wig. This is pure fiber. So, <laughs> hey, let me stop being extra. All right. So, you guys, if you want to know how to make your wig look realistic, like it's growing exactly from your skin scalp then stay tools i'll be using in this video is a rat tailed comb i will be using the press powder of my choice which is my maybelline fit me press powder in the color 355 which this is like a it's coconut so this is a dark brown it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone i should have got um i think it's taupe or something the 350 that's what i should have got but oh well i'll be using this comb brush thing i do not know what this is called <laughs> Next, a toothbrush because you know you gotta lay down them edges, honey. I'll be using my got to be glued gel, and this is gel. This is not glued. Glue is in the name up here, but it's not the glue. I promise you, this is gel. I will also be using the holding spray that goes along with it. I'll be using my Gorilla gor Gorilla Snot glue, scissors, and I'll be using this eyeshadow type of angled brush. Just to fill in the part. Last but not least, you're gonna need your wig of choice, honey. And this right here is the Denver wig by Model Model. So it is by Model Model and it is in the style Denver. It is this nice, edgy, chic bob and it is black and brown. So it's in the color 1B P30, something like that. And this is what the parting space is looking like. So the first thing you want to do is determine if you think that your parting space is good enough for you. If you think that that is realistic, that's the first thing that you want to do. I think my parting space is a little good, but I think I'm going to pluck in the middle just to make it a little wider. I do not use tweezers. I just use my fingers. So, um, so what I'm going to do is just put the parting space right here on my finger. And since I do not know... I think they're gone, hopefully. So anyways, um, I do own a mannequin head, but I really do not do this on my mannequin head. I just do it on my fingers. So you just take some strands of hair, wrap it around your finger, and then pull. And it just comes right out. You just want to make sure that you do not tug on the lace. So I'm going to show you guys again. Just take some strands of hair from the part, and you pull. And that's all you really do in order to... Um, widen up the part thing you want to do is take the pressed powder of your choice some people use liquid foundation and all depends on what you're comfortable with using and you want to make sure you get it on your brush so all I did was circle it in my pressed powder and you can see the powder right there you take your unit and again I'm just putting mine in my finger and you just dab the powder into the lace as you see, it's starting to look like a scalp. And what I do is just blend the powder out just because I don't like it to look too harsh and too fake. So I'm just going to blend the powder out so that it's not looking too chalky. Here comes the fun part. Not really. 
but we're gonna cut your lace and you want to be real careful with cutting the lace because you do not want to cut into the hairline so I just cut a random section off pull it back like you're pulling a potato and then I well a banana not a potato and then I just cut along the edge Again, I'm leaving space, as you see, there's where the dots of the hair start. So you just want to make sure that you cut to where the dots are. You do not want to cut the dots off because that would be the cause of your wig shedding. So that piece is cut. Again, I'm just going to slice a whole nother section. There we go. And that's the section that we have to work on. And this method works better for me than just cutting the lace straight across because this gives me a better look of what I'm doing. Alright, so all the lace is off and you're left with your unit. So this wig here is a side part, but if you did not have a side part, you can figure out where you want it, the part to be. But this wig is made to be a side part, so I'm just going to plop it on my head and then shift it. What you want to do is shift the unit. It does come with ear tabs, but you do not have to have the unit placed directly where the ear tabs are perfectly aligned. It all depends, again, on how you want your part. So I like my parts to be a little deep. So yeah, um, for some people, they just stop right there. The wig is on. It looks like there's a scalp and they keep going, but I'm a little extra. So what I do is... My braids underneath my wig is old, so yeah, don't mind this because there's going to be a lot of loose hair, but what I try to do is I try to make a slight part so I can have my baby hairs come out of the side. So as you see, my baby hairs aren't much. They're real tiny. They're real Thin and this is where that good old toothbrush and that gel comes into place. You can use any gel that you want. I just like the Gorilla Snot Gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gel... Ooh, don't touch my eyebrows, honey. <laughs> I'm just going to put the gel lightly on my edges and comb them forward. As you see, some grown-up hairs are seeping through, and that's fine. I'll make it blend, but I'm just going to brush it forward so that I know that I do not want the um got to be glued gel to touch any of that. So I'm just combing it forward, and then I will deal with that later. So I'm going to take my got to be glued gel. Comes in two formulas. There is the yellow formula where the paste comes out white. The clear look is because I haven't used this in a while. And then I do have a black formula, which is the Ultra Glue Gel, and it comes in a black case. But the yellow um, bottle works way better than the blue bottle. Even though the blue bottle claims to be an Ultra Hold, I feel like this holds way better than the other one. So I'm just going to be putting my Got To Be Glue Gel right here against my hairline and do not worry this will not rip your hairline out um I haven't had my hairline ripped out from this because I am very um cautious of taking this off so you want to make sure you do that don't just rip the wig off because I think that's when it would take your hair out but other than that this is pretty safe for your hair so I just sprayed some of the um, spray on my finger. I like to spray it on my finger rather than just spray it on my head because when I spray it on my head it just goes anywhere and that's not a good look. So I'm just gonna let that sit until it gets tacky. You can use a blow dryer but I'm not really going to use a blow dryer and when you do use the blow dryer you want to use it on cool setting. It would not get sticky on hot setting. It would just keep it um 
a watery consistency you'll want to use it on a cool um setting to get it nice and sticky and tacky okay so now all you want to do is pull your wig forward just make sure you don't get any of the wig hairs stuck in the got to be glued so you just stick your wig lace where you sprayed the holding spray and just let it sit on there so that it doesn't go anywhere you just want to press it in there nice and firmly don't be too rough because you don't want to give yourself a headache just be rough enough to where the lace isn't going anywhere and as you see i can do that and it looks exactly like the unit is growing from my scalp like what's up right there where it's not stick. You want to do that for out the perimeter of your whole head and I'm just brushing this back so this is actually double for me as edge control. and as a um, glue quote unquote for this wig again like I said before this is not actual glue this is gel but it does work like glue this is the um, gel people use you've ever seen like people with spiky hair this is what they use to get their spikes to stay now, right again I'm taking my spray and I'm spraying my hands look at why, why are these hairs trying me They're, look why why are you trying me <laughs> all right and then I just rub it backwards just so that my hairs know that this is where they belong backwards and then you stick it on pull it forward stick it on pull it forward stick it on and it immediately like sticks to your forehead like it ain't playing no games with you. And I'm not going to pull any baby hairs on this side for it just because I have a bang that will be covering any baby hairs anyway. All right, honey, get that toothbrush out, girl. <laughs> Stick it into that gel. And this is when you start making everything come together. Because there is no look that is complete without making sure that them baby hairs are nice and aligned. Now, I am not a baby hair goddess, okay? I do not know how to do baby hairs like those girls do in the videos to save their life. I am very, very basic when it comes to this. Ain't no special designs, no nothing. They just real basic but it's fine boo <laughs> so all i do is just to get the ends the curve in i just take my rat tail comb and like curve it in just to give it some type of feel that it looks you know controlled or something i don't know but as you see i'm combing the unit back it is not going anywhere Now look at that. Tell me you don't think this unit is growing directly from my scalp. Like, tell me. Tell me you don't feel like this is growing directly from my scalp. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Look at that. Look at how it's laying. Look at that part. That part doesn't look too wide and it doesn't look too narrow. I should have pulled some more baby hairs right here just to get it to like it's coming out from the part. But that's fine. That's fine, boo. I'm still slaying. Let's just go ahead and be a lot extra real quick. Comb this hair back. And then roll it over. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Tell me this don't look like it's growing from my scalp. And look, I could whip my hair. I could do the AKA thing when they be shaking their hair back and forth. Get myself whip flash and stuff, and it ain't going nowhere. Mm, stop sticking to my lip gloss. It ain't going nowhere. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned how to slay your synthetic wig because you can make a synthetic wig that like it costs you a million billion Brazilian bucks. <laughs> Ooh, feeling it. Yeah, so who who would think, let me walk down the street, like who would think this was a synthetic wig? Like y'all would either think I cut my real hair 
or I put some bundles in and no boo this is fiber this ain't no bundles but you can't tell me that fiber don't look good though like you can't you can't tell me that fight look at that look at that look and then it's slay backwards yes yes mm, does your weave dance yes honey it dances okay <laughs> my weave dances I don't know if i went too fast let me know if you felt like i skipped some steps or i just like blew past this video i didn't want this video to be too too long because i'm trying to learn how to cut my video times down which is hard because i talk a lot i can't help it I talk way too much. Let me stop playing with this hair for somebody to get mad and be like, why do you keep playing with the bang? Like, just leave it alone. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Do y'all think I did that? Do y'all think I did that? Or did I not do it? Because I felt like I did it. But somebody gonna tell me I ain't do it. But I did it. I did that. Okay? <laughs> but thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye.